Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are looking at some Bundesliga team of the season predictions today because that is the next league coming after La Liga in FIBA 21 for team of the season. So I'm going to take a look at this squad we could be seeing. There's going to be a squad of 11 players, four on the bench, and then I'm going to throw in some notables as well because I think... Since this is fan voted, there's a fan vote that is involved in this. If you get, if you guys did vote, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. But EA released this vote uh, last week, and it just ended a couple days ago. And that's going to play, I'm really curious to see how big of a part that plays. Because there's a lot of people voting for a couple specific players, like Waman. You guys know who I'm talking about in this video. So we're going to take a look through at some of the players that I do think could be getting in. Also talk about their price and how much they could be on the market because we talk a lot of market stuff on this channel. So without further ado, let's start at the back line with the defenders. Now, I don't know the fan vote, the percentage of it. So we're going to go with this and kind of thinking that, hey, it's going to be some sort of mix between fan vote playing a little bit of a percent and also uh, real life, you know, performances. And, you know, like all the other team of the seasons are um, decided by EA Sports factored in as well. But this is who I think could be in the starting 11 defense. Gulashi, Angelino, Guerrero, Hummels, and Baku. Now, of course, the defense does not look that super hot, right? But there's a couple cards here that could be pretty good. And some notables we'll talk about even later. I think this Baku card is the one that I want to focus on, though, because Angelino, he'll be decent, right? Honestly, looking at that card... With depending on the work rates, that could be an awesome center mid, center defensive mid. Guerrero, same thing. Hummels, we had him last year. He's going to be a cheap fodder team of the season card. I do think that he gets in almost for sure. But I think this Baku card, if he gets in, he's going to be sort of similar to this Hakimi was last year. Now, this Hakimi had 99 pace, and I don't think Baku is going to have that high of a pace rating. But this card, when he was out in the first week of Bundesliga Tots, was around the 200,000 coin price range. And I think a Baku card of these stats that we saw right here, 93 pace, 88 dribbling, with the links that this card provides a German Bundesliga link on the right side. Now, the only other right back that we have that is good in this game in the Bundesliga on that right back side is basically the uh, the Bender Brothers. Honestly, when it comes to mind, it's mostly those Bender Brothers cards uh, for a Bundesliga right back that seems to be really meta. I think this Baku card would be a nice card people would like to use in game as well, especially with those German links in that right back position. So I think that's the biggest card from this set that I'm, you know, the most interested in. And we'll move past it pretty decently, right? Because the rest of these cards, you know, Neuer could very easily get in. And there's a lot of other notables in the defense that I think could get in. And we'll talk about those in a bit. But I think this is the winning defense that will get into team of the season. Let's go to the midfield. Mr. Kostic, Sancho, and Kimmich are who I have picked as the winners in the midfield of team of the season for Bundesliga. Kostic, of course, uh, having an insane year once again with all of his goals for Frankfurt. Sancho's probably going to get in based off of popularity in this vote. Um, and then Kimmich, I think, is going to get in as well, probably because he deserves it, but also because of popularity in this vote. And I think with the attackers and with the midfielders in the Bundesliga team of the season, that's where you really see the most hype. Because again, let's take a look at this Bundesliga squad from last year and just look at this team, right? It's all attackers and midfielders. Hummels, not that much hype. We had Ub Meccano, Davies, and Hakimi last year. Basically, three defenders in the whole Bundesliga Tots squad that were hyped up, and the rest were midfielders and attackers. And I think that's kind of how it's going to be this time around as well. I feel like a lot of the hype is going to be on these midfielders like Sancho, Kimmich, if Goretzka gets in, and then, of course, your attackers, which we'll look at in a second. But the biggest thing I want to say about these cards right here is EA Sports continue the weak foot and skill move upgrades. Jaden Sancho needs that five, not sorry, not five star. He's got the five star skills. He needs that four star weak foot. Okay. If we get Sancho that four star weak foot, that would be awesome and that would be incredible. So I hope they give him that weak foot. Other than that, Costage is going to be a decent card. Probably not too many people are going to use him, but it'll still be decent in game. And this Kimmich card is going to be very interesting. Like we've seen already this year, a lot of these Tots cards that have team of the years. The prices, they just kind of hover around that team of the year price because the stats seem to be just about the same. So this is what I would expect a Kimmich team of the season card to honestly look like. They've been boosting the physical a lot 
on these team of the season cards, but you know, I don't really know if they're going to boost Kimmich's physical even higher from his team of the year, kind of like you saw with like, uh, I think Bruno Fernandez and both him and Kevin De Bruyne had big physical and defense boosts um, in the midfield. So maybe they'll boost like Kimmich's shot on the team of the season. I don't know, uh, but I expect that Timmich, Kimmich Tots card to be somewhere around that million coin range after the first weekend. So these are the midfielders that I do think will get in. Sancho, of course, is going to provide some nice English links on that right side, of course, with a lot of English players being in the meta right now on the right side. Now, this is what a lot of people are wanting to see, and that is a Waman in the attack. I think Waman is going to get in because the overwhelming vote, if there's any vote that takes into account just the hardcore FIFA community, I've seen so many people voting for this Waman, I think there is a legit potential that he gets in. Potentially not to the starting 11, but I think he gets in on the bench as well. And I think if EA have a say in this, they will know that this card could bring a lot of hype into FIFA and they could, you know, get a little bit of extra this if he does get in. So I think Waman gets in, man. I really do think he does. Of course, he's going to have that 99 pace. He's got the five star skills. But again, EA Sports, we need that weak foot upgraded. We need that weak foot upgraded on a Waman. So hopefully he gets in. That's where all the hype is right now, of course. Holland, of course, 100% gets in, in my opinion. And so does Lewandowski. Now, of course, we already have a Lewandowski team of the year card, which, you know, I think this might be a team of the season that is probably going to be worse than the team of the year for Lewandowski, in my opinion. Uh, but this Lewandowski card is, is not really that meta. Not a lot of people use him. Um, but you know what? It'll be another version, special version of Lewandowski. You know, EA Sports, if you wanted to give him a five-star weak foot or imagine a five-star skills Lewandowski, that'd be kind of interesting, right? Uh, that'd be kind of cool if you if you juice one up there as well. But very similar stats to the team of the year, in my opinion, for Lewandowski. Holland, of course, this is going to be the best version of Holland. Last year, we had a pretty cracked out card for him as well. Now, of course, you guys remember, right? These team of the seasons from last year were, had way bigger stat boosts way crazier cards. He didn't have a skill move boost, but EA Sports, give us a four-star, four-star Holland, and we will be pretty happy. Now, this card last year was at like, you know, 1.5 million coins starting off right away. He was actually really cheap. Um, I remember trading with this card's first day. I think that a Holland this year would be around the same price point, somewhere in like the 1.2 to 1.4 range, kind of right away. Because yes, this card looks really good and he's probably going to finish everything. He's got the pace, he's got the hype, but he's not super, super duper meta for what this game plays. So I think Holland gets in for sure. I think Lewandowski gets, gets in for sure. I don't know if Waman's in the starting 11, but I feel like Waman does get into the team uh, at some point. Now, let's take a look at some notables because depending on how heavy the, the voting weight is, uh, I think that some of these guys might just get in based off of popularity. Does Alfonso Davies deserve a team of the year after being injured for so long? I'll leave that up for you to answer, but I think Alfonso Davies could possibly get in because, again, the fan vote here, I'm really curious to see what kind of percentage the fan vote holds with this actual decision. Now, if Davies gets a team of the year card, of course, or he already has a team of the year, but this team of the season you know, it's probably going to look very similar to what his team of the year card does look like right now. It's right around 1.1 million coins on the PlayStation. So this Davies card is probably going to be pretty similar to that one. Thomas Muller, I think he deserves to be in because Muller was, of course, gypped of a team of the year this year or even some sort of SBC, uh, not even being in the voting. So I think this is EA's chance to kind of right the wrong if Muller does kind of get in on some of the voting with, of course, Bayern Munich being one of the most popular teams in the Bundesliga, they're going to get plenty of representation with this Bundesliga top squad 100%. And then I think it's possible that Neuer could actually win in, in goal as well. But I'm really hoping for somebody other than Neuer because we already have his team of the year. Um, just give us something different, EA Sports. I don't know. His team of the year is like 270K. So I would just take a different goalkeeper card, even if it just means a different fodder card that I'm going to pack or my guaranteed Bundesliga Tots pack. I'd, I'd want something different. So that's my opinion on that Neuer right there. Now, Let's talk about some other notables. Now, these are cards that I think could get in based off of the voting aspect of this TOTS prediction. John Brooks. I've actually seen a lot of people vote for John Brooks. He could very easily make it in over a guy like Guerrero, um, you know, maybe even over a guy like Baku. We'll see. 
Uh, and then Gunter as well. I think Brooks and Gunter are two that could... The defense is really interesting to me. It's really interesting um, because Gunter, his card would look really cracked. He had a foot birthday version that a lot of people liked. And I think a lot of the U.S. folk like myself voted for John Brooks because that's an American Tots card that we think could be some cool links there um, with that card. Endo as well, very popular vote alongside Waman. You're seeing a lot of people vote for that Endo card. He could make it onto the bench. You look at that card, that's pretty sick, right? The Stuttgart links, of course, to Waman would be pretty dope. And, uh, you know, you probably see people running him in a team with like Moments Nakata. That'd be a pretty sweet squad to kind of put together. A lot of fun squad building creations you could have with that item right there. And then Serge Nabry is a card that I think might get into the starting 11 for a popular vote over Waman for the attackers because I think people remember this Nabry card from last year. He was very, very good. Four-star, four-star on the Nabry. 96 pace, 92 shot. Uh, just a pretty cracked out item. So this card started off right around the 600K range. I feel like depending on which side Nabry is on, uh, if he is on the left or if he is on the right, that might make a little bit of a difference. Now, of course, we've had the center attack in mid Serge Nabry. We've had left mid in forms, but he's got a right mid base position. Now, as we know this year, uh, we had the messy Tots card that was a striker uh, or like a central player. So it's not necessarily guaranteed that Nabry's Tots card will have that same position as his base item. But I think he has potential to get in. And then Goretzka. And if Goretzka gets a card, goodness me, is it going to be ridiculous? You know what we're already looking at right here with this Goretzka card. An absolutely disgusting, absolutely disgusting player. Club 90. I mean, we're talking about the Goretzka card right now that we have in FIFA is this headliner. If they give, you know, a solid boost to this Goretzka card, if they really wanted to do a De Young type boost on a card like Goretzka, I would be down. Now, if you remember, Goretzka had a card last year, this 91 Moments SBC that was very close to Club 90, except for the defense. This could be sort of what we maybe see if he does get in. I think those might be more realistic uh, statistics, but I mean, if we see a Goretzka card like this, man, I don't think anybody is going to complain if he would get in over somebody like Endo or maybe even like Kostic, right? I mean, that card would be ridiculous. So I think that's one that we're kind of, I'm kind of hoping for that. So we'll see, man. The number one thing that I'm the most interested about with this entire vote is where is EA going to go with the percentage of the vote that is the fan base? And also, we saw a couple cards in this vote, Mukiele and Nkunku, that were included in the community team of the season. So if those cards somehow get voted in, are we literally just going to see a re-release of that same Tots card back in packs? I think that's probably what would happen, and that wouldn't be very hyped. So I hope that neither Nkunku or... Um, or uh, Mukiele get in because I don't want it to reduce, right? I want 15 brand new spanking hot off the press cards from Team of the Season Bundesliga to be released into the game this coming Friday. So that's my Bundesliga Tots prediction. Of course, Waman headlining it. A lot of people are hoping for that card. I think it'd be cool too for the hype, you know, for the fun. EA Sports delivered. That's all you have to do. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these predictions. Of course, it seems a lot more based off just the vote for me, based off of who like maybe really deserves it from the other leagues. Now, if you look at our La Liga Tots predictions, we were almost spot on with a lot of those. So we will see if the Bundesliga is close because of that vote being involved. But that's the thing that I'm the most interested in this week inside of the Bundesliga Tots heading into Friday, right? I'm very, very interested in that. If you want to check out the designer that helped me out with these predictions, link is going to be in the description. Yaz is his name. He's an absolute beast. So if you did like this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.